So let's go and see how the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 holds up against the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8. Now, the first couple things to keep in mind, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 is still, I think, a very good device. This one is the, you know, the last year tablet, the early 2022 model of the Tab series. And I was a big fan of the Galaxy Tab series before, but the Tab S8 really kind of changed my opinion on a few things. I think Samsung did a really good job with the Tab S8, but now with the Tab S9, it has changed a few things here and there. There's a few more features, there's some cool things here and there, but I will definitely tell you the change from the Tab S7 to the S8 was a bigger change from the S8 to the S9 in my opinion. Now if you want to pick up either one of these tablets, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the same time. Now starting off with the outside, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 on the front has a very beautiful 11 inch TFT LCD panel. Now it's a good panel. You know, I think, you know, Samsung's done a great job with this device and you know, it's a TFT panel. So take it as you will. It's definitely not going to be the sharpest or best looking panel of all time, but I do think it's still a very good display for the most part. It has kind of a little bit, it has fairly thin bezels around it. It's not a big amount of bezel by any means. You're getting clearly like a front camera. You're getting a lot of stuff on the front of this specific device, which is really cool. And as I mentioned before, this is a really good feeling, you know, tablet, but also looks very good in hand, which is something that I really do like. Now with the Galaxy Tab S, S9. This is a little bit, a tiny bit of a different story. So on the front, we are now getting an 11 inch dynamic AMOLED display. This is very big because we've now gone from basically that TFT panel to now up to that, you know, dynamic AMOLED, which again is a very cool thing. And I love having that type of display because it just looks so beautiful. And I'm just such a massive fan of this specific device from that perspective alone. Now, on top of that, it's very high resolution still, still looks very good. And for sure, when it look, comes down to the front of these panels, I think Samsung knocked out of the park with both of them, but I, I really do like the Tab S9. I really do think that is a really big difference here. Now, they both have USB-C ports. Both of them have micro SD card slots, which is really cool. And on top of that, on the back, both of them have this like standard, like solid back that it looks very beautiful on the back of both of them. And as I mentioned before, these two tablets feel very premium. These things do not feel like cheap little tablets that you're going to like pick up at like, you know, for $40 or something. These are very expensive feeling tablets. And even 10 years from now, they're still going to feel like very expensive tablets. There's a tiny bit of a design change on the back. I think depending on which specific model you buy, but with both of them, they look very solid. They both look very, very good in the hand. And definitely when it comes down to it, you like they both kind of share the same features. Like they both have the S Pen capability. They both have cameras on the back. They both have a very solid lens. But I really do think when it comes down to both, I think Samsung did a really good job with the Galaxy Tab S8. And I still think they've done a tremendous job with the Tab S9. Now Samsung did do kind of something a little tiny bit weird with the back of these specific you know tablets. They changed the layout of these specific cameras. So now on the base models, I have no idea why they did this. They probably shouldn't have, to be honest. But they went from a dual camera setup on the Galaxy Tab S8 to a single camera setup on the Galaxy Tab S9. I don't know why they did this. That's a very, very design, weird design change to do. Not to say, to be honest, the ultralight on that Tab S8 really wasn't even that great. But it's still really nice to have. And it's still a really cool feature that you could use whenever you wanted to. And it was kind of a selling point in my opinion. If you look at the iPad 10, the iPad 9. Those iPads don't have dual camera setups. They have single camera setups. Even the iPad Air 5 has a single camera setup. So this thing could have actually kind of tailored against those ones with a dual camera setup. But with the Tab S9 having a single camera, I think that gives it a little bit more of an impression or, you know, gives people the right to actually go and get, you know, maybe something more like the S9 Plus or S9 Ultra. I'm not too sure, but it's still kind of a weird thing that ended up happening here. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of that, but it is what it is. There's not much we can do about it. You have 4K at 60 on the back and 4K at 60 on the front. I really don't know which one is the better camera here. Maybe you could go and swing by and get something like the Galaxy Tab S8, maybe if you want to and still have a really good camera, but I don't know, maybe the S9 is a little bit better. But to be fair also, I don't know too many people who are going to be actually buying, you know, these tablets because of the cameras. But do keep in mind that Samsung does make some of the best cameras out that I know of. So these specific cameras and lenses are actually not that bad. So that's probably one thing to keep in mind too. But in terms of that, that kind of covers it up from that perspective. Now, in terms of the actual software longevity between both these tablets, to be honest, as you probably would have guessed it, the Tab S9 is probably going to last longer than the Tab S9 Plus. 
the Tab S9 is probably going to last longer than the Tab S8. That's just kind of what happens every single time there's a new version of device that comes out. So again, keep that in the mind in the back of your head. Whenever you're buying something like a Galaxy Tab, you know, S8, you are going to be getting a device that is still going to be, you know, software supported for quite a bit of time. But the Tab S9 is definitely going to be the one that's going to last a little bit longer. It's definitely not the one that's going to last years and years longer. I mean, it might, uh, who knows, but definitely when it comes down to it, the Tab S8 is definitely going to be the one that lasts, you know, not as long as the Tab S9. In terms of performance, this is honestly probably another fairly big change here. So with the Tab S9, you are actually getting a device that is, you know, kind of up to date with its chipset. So with the Tab S8, you had that Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset with 8 gigs of RAM on the base models, but it does go up to 12. With the Tab S9, it starts, you know, it has that Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset inside with 8 gigs of RAM on the base model, but it does go up to 12 as well. The problem, I would say, with the Tab S8 was that the S8 chipset, you know, was a little bit throttled in some ways. It didn't really do the best job at like, kind of like limiting the heat and the power consumption of that chipset. It was a very good chipset but it just didn't do the best with battery power and all that. With the 8 Plus Gen 1, that actually ended up fixing a lot of those issues. And the 8 Gen 2 is an even more improved version of that. So although there's only like a year of chipset between these two, there was actually a lot of development that actually happened with these two chipsets from that specific perspective. So I would probably tell you from that specific you know viewpoint alone, you are probably in a better situation if you do actually, if you have the choice of buying something like the Tab S9, because that one does have the better chipset. So if you have the opportunity of doing so, like if you're playing very intensive games or very large applications and things like that, you're probably going to have a better time on something like the Tab S9 over the Tab S8. But I have played lots of games, used lots of emulators on my Tab S8, and I've had a really, really good time with it as well. I personally could have felt like with that specific you know, device, it could have been perfectly fine had I plugged it in all the time. But that was the problem. If you're on the go and if you're playing some of these big games or whatever, that's probably going to be giving you some issues right there. So that's like another thing to keep in mind. But I think beyond that, something like the Tab S9 is definitely going to be the better one when it kind of comes down to it. Now, wrapping it up from the battery life perspective, you had a 8,000 milliamp hour battery on the Tab S8, but the Tab S9 actually did go up to an 8,400 milliamp hour battery. So that's actually something that's very, very cool. You are actually getting a much larger battery from the Tab S9 than on the Tab S8. So again, that in and of itself is a really cool thing. And I'm very happy that we have that type of device here because again, it's a really cool thing that we have. So to kind of sum up this video, what I'll definitely tell you is, I definitely do think the Tab S8 is probably still, I think, the better deal. I think that's the device that I would recommend probably more people to buy more so than not. And I think that device is the one that makes the most amount of sense to me. Now with the Tab S9, I think this is clearly the better tablet. This is the one that I would probably recommend a majority of people to buy if you have all the money. But if you want to save a little bit and if you don't want to, you know, if you don't really care about having the greatest or best of the best at the same moment, I think the Tab S8 probably makes the most amount of sense. It's cheaper has a really good display, and still is a very good performing tablet. But with the Galaxy Tab S9, this is the best of the best right now. This one has the best display on any tablet, you know, on the Galaxy Tab series right now. You're still maintaining all the features. Yeah, you're losing an ultra wide camera on the base model, but it's still like a very good tablet, and I'm a big fan of it for sure. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there as well. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that'll be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly, with everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.